there is a new weapon in the fight against cancer. Dr. John LaPook tells us that researchers have developed a way to get the body's own cells to hunt down the disease. Doug Olson had been living with chronic lymphocytic leukemia, or CLL, for 14 years. By 2010, after four rounds of chemotherapy, his only option seemed to be a bone marrow transplant with a 50% chance of success. You know, it's sort of standing on the edge of a cliff you know, with a parachute that may or may not open. That's when he became patient number three in a gene therapy experiment designed to manipulate his immune system. I didn't hesitate for a second. They talk about cancer being, being a, you know, a battle, that you're, you're fighting cancer, and that's exactly what it feels like. The weapon is drawn from a patient's own body. Doctors at the University of Pennsylvania remove T cells, white blood cells that help fight infections. The cells are then genetically modified to recognize and attack cancer cells. Oncologist Dr. David Porter is part of the team overseeing the therapy. The T cell can grow and divide. In fact, we've seen for every T cell that we genetically modify and put into a, a patient's body, it has the ability to kill up to 93,000 leukemia cells. In Olson's case, it took just three weeks to work. Dr. Porter said hot off the press. He said, we can't find any CLL in your, uh, in your blood at all. What was that like for you? It was amazing. You can imagine, only a few weeks before, you know, you're, you're not so sure you have a future. 59 patients were treated for two types of leukemia. 15 of 32 adults with CLL have responded to the therapy, and seven have no evidence of leukemia. In the second type of leukemia, ALL, the patients were mostly children, and the results were even more dramatic. No detectable cancerous cells in 24 of 27 treated patients. The fact that these cells can survive for so long and continue to be biologically active uh, really is, is quite remarkable to all of us. More than three years later, Olson is still in complete remission and the modified T cells are still circulating. The hope is to use this same technique to make other types of cancer cells more visible to the body's immune system. In the next few months, doctors will start using this sophisticated immunotherapy in patients with non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. Impressive. Thank you, doctor.